What's going on, Imperials? It's Emperor Cubone here. There are dozens of Pokémon type combinations that we've seen, but even so many years out, we still don't have every possible pairing of types. Every now and then they'll surprise us and a generation will make it a priority, or just out of the blue like with the normal and ghost type combination. I honestly thought this would be one of the last pairings that they would go for, but now it's placed front and center as the new regional form of Zorua and Zoroark. So I have no doubt that eventually, every single type will end up with all of the others at some point. But what if they didn't have to? What if we could already cover each of the as-of-yet unused combinations with already existing Pokémon? Because honestly, some of these should have taken on these unique roles from the start, if for nothing else than to check it off the list. But let's see what type pairings are left to officially be done and show all of the Pokémon that could have been this way, and just see how much they drop the ball. Let's start with the ones that are most compatible as likely candidates, such as with Bug and Dragon. Maybe we'll see a regional bug with this typing someday, but as far as Pokémon that we've already been given, the obvious answers are Yanmega and Flygon. One is a literal dragonfly and the other is an insectoid dragon. However, I think that we could have believably given this typing to the Gudra line as well. These slimy slugs could have a lot of other types besides just Dragon, but if we had to make an exhaustive list, I do think that Gudra could fill out this combination perfectly. To a lesser extent, I could see this typing being applied to Scyther and Golisopod as well, but I won't push it. I'm simply trying to show that there's no shortage of possibilities for this type combination, yet somehow it has still eluded us. Another type pairing that I'm frankly shocked we've yet to see is Ghost and Rock. I mean, a simple Tombstone Pokémon would do it, but we've also seen clear options slip past us, like Galarania Mask in its evolution, who are literally possessed stones. Or the new Galarian form of Corsola and Cursula would also fit instead of just being pure Ghost. I could even see this as appropriate for Spiritomb. I doubt that people would want it to lose its superior typing it has now, but I'm just saying that it would have worked to give us a combination that we've still yet to receive for no good reason. A category that's smaller but no less apparent to me is Fire and Fairy. It may sound hard to pull off without an idea from the start, but are we saying that Blacephalon wouldn't have been perfect? A fiery clown seems like it could have been Fairy to me, but I would also say that Brakeson and Delphox could pull off this combination. Not that they need it, because that would give it an advantage over both of the other starters, but it is interesting that the most likely candidates for this pairing are Pokémon that debuted after the Fairy-type introduction, but remained without it anyway. One that I think could have been pulled off before now is Normal and Poison. Normal still has quite a few combinations to go, but I think Poison might be one of the stronger ones with the likes of the Nidoran family. These nondescript mammals could believably have a planar typing attached to them. I could also see this on the Swalot line, since it's not exactly made of poison like some of the others, so something else to hold it together could fit. I could even see this on the Lickitung line as well, since its saliva apparently can dissolve anything. But that's not quite as strong as the others, and I do think that Stunky could have easily been a normal type. But its current typing is pretty great, so I'll let it off. Likewise, Normal and Rock seems like it could have been done already by the Rockruff line. Its evolution like in Rock could probably get away with a few other types, but they could all easily have been given Normal for being more than just some kind of variation of a boulder like you usually see with Rock. Outside of that, I can kind of see why Normal and Rock haven't been paired together already. Another solid typing that we don't have is Electric and Fighting, which easily could have been picked off by the mythical Zeraora back in Alola, but for some reason they still left it out. But even before that, I think the entire Electabuzz line could have realistically taken up this mantle generations ago, so I can only assume that they don't want this typing to exist when they have such textbook options. And last of the strongest possibilities to me is the much-requested Grass and Fire typing. It's hard to ignore the fact that the last starter type combination would be pretty great, but we could have had it before with the Gorgeist line. They clearly have a fire inside of them like regular jack-o'-lanterns do, so it would have fit without question. 
To a lesser degree, we also have Sunflora and Cherim that could have pulled off a possible fire typing too. The fact is that we've had the opportunity before, but I guess we'll have to wait for whenever they decide to give us a Tiki Pokemon at some point. Now we get to the typings that aren't quite as obvious but still achievable, like combining Bug and Dark. I'm shocked this still hasn't happened, because I can see it being applied easily to Ninjask instead of just flying. Not only would it fit the ninja theme, but it would have also made all three members of the family unique type additions to the franchise. I could see Excelgore for much of the same reasoning, as well as possibly Pinsir, giving the Kanto region an actual dark type. But I could also see Drapion going the other way and keeping the bug type while gaining dark. Once again, I'm not advocating for this monster to lose its excellent current typing, but if somebody were to have already been an evil bug type, I could see it coming from this thing. Other combinations in this category I would say are normal and ice. I think that they could have given us this in Gen 5 with the Cub Chew line. They seem to be able to pull off the generic simplicity that would be required for normal. But I could also see if they had applied this to the regional forms of either Vulpix or Darumaka. These strike me as more likely to be normal than your standard living ice chunk would be. Like it is the type pairing of Fairy and Fighting, which I would say could have gone to the Minfu line. Retroactively, obviously, but their graceful movements and coloring I think could have given us these disparate types. Alternatively, I would say that the Beware family could have pulled this off. Now, I don't want any of these to remove other unique combinations, but most people forget that Meluetta also shares their typing. Which, come to think of it, Meluetta could have been a fairy and fighting type instead. So the point is that we've got options. There's also Normal and Steel, and to me the only actual contender I can see would be the Galarian version of Meowth with Berserker. These ferocious felines strike a balance between metallic and plain that I don't really see any other Pokemon fitting. So it may be niche and very recent, but we still could have had it by this point. Another narrow field in my eyes is the possible ground and fairy typing, and to me the lone candidates for this setup would be Snubble and Granbull. I realize that they started as pure normal, but they could have been normal and ground at the beginning and then shift into fairy once they had a replacement for that original typing. We might never be given an opportunity for this in the future, so this could be our best bet. And lastly in this tier, I would put the type combination of poison and steel. Maybe they're purposefully holding this back because it's one of the best possible pairings as far as canceling out weaknesses, but as far as existing Pokemon, I could see Beedrill fitting here. I know it is a bug, but the metal spears that it has for hands does make a compelling case, not to mention the mega form that it has. Outside of that, I could also see the Meltan line having this, given their Mercury-like qualities and how toxic that is, but I think most of all, Poipul and Naginatal could absolutely have been the mascots for this typing. And if anything was going to get this amazing combination as a blessing, it could have been an Ultra Beast. But now we find the type combinations that are pretty difficult to cover at all, let alone with existing Pokémon. For instance, putting Bug together with Normal. The Normal typing is really only meant to be used for Pokémon that lack any other defining characteristics. So if something is clearly a Bug, it doesn't really need anything else. So I don't think that just bland Bugs like Caterpie or Scatterbug would cut it. My only inkling would be to say that Dunsparce could get this typing. It is weird enough to pull off, and it has several attributes that could be considered bug-like. So honestly, I can see why this one has been left out so far. The combination of ground and fighting I thought might be easier, but it turns out to be comparably questionable for existing Pokémon. To me, the most likely option would probably be Marowak. It does have a weapon, after all, and that would provide an interesting dynamic for the Ghost Regional variant. I'm thinking that maybe the Hitmons could get away with this too, since Hitmonlee and Hitmontop specifically do seem open to it. Other than that, I'd say that maybe Groudon could do it? So we could have squeezed this out somewhere, even if a more purposeful design would probably be most helpful in this regard. But I've got to say, out of every type pairing that has yet to be done in Pokémon, the toughest one has to be Ice and Poison. 
Ice is a pretty specific element that can be objectively measured on a Pokémon, and none of the existing Poison types have it. So we'll have to pull from the Ice type stable. And to me, just about the only possible thing that we could use as a Poison type might be Cloyster. It does have access to more Poison moves than your average Ice type, and I believe there are some Poisonous Bivalves? I know that going from pure water to ice and poison would be weird, we could adjust shelter as well, but out of all the Pokémon that we currently have, I think this is the only way to get this elusive combination until they specifically craft a design based around it. There are some other type combinations that are exclusively on certain forms, like Mega Altaria being the only Dragon and Fairy. And to me, I think the original Altaria could probably get away with this, since the Mega Forms aren't around anymore, and personally, I do think that Palkia probably could have gotten this added, despite the States of Matter connections. There's also the Rotom Forms that I am personally iffy on. Three of them are otherwise covered, but the electric pairings with Fire and Grass are still left out. However, realistically, there are no current Pokémon that could fit these very precise categories. Maybe, maybe the Heliolisk line as Electric and Fire, but I'm fine leaving those out. So, those are all of the type pairings that are yet to be done in Pokémon, covered by the designs that we do already have. Some are justified in being left out, for sure, but others have no excuse for why they don't already exist. How would you fit in every remaining type combination? Let me know down in the comments. Also be sure to leave a like, share this video, and subscribe so that you too can become an Imperial today. And we'll see you around next time!